Hey everybody, welcome back to Danelle's Yoga Channel. Today I'd like to break down plank pose. Often in class I see different sort of errors with this posture and while everybody's body and practice will show up differently, there is a certain technique to plank pose that needs to be remembered and addressed. So when you're ready, get on your mat and let's get started. Okay, when you're ready, come into a tabletop position. Let's bring the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. What I commonly see in plank or tabletop is a collapse in the shoulders and a collapse in the lower back. That's because our body is trying to conserve energy. So what we wanna do is push the earth away, ignite the belly and find this nice flat spine. See that flat spine from my tailbone to the crown of my head, long length. When you feel ready, you can start to extend one leg, just play with it and then the other. When you feel extra confident, straighten both legs, come onto the balls of your feet and find your plank. And again, you can kind of play with this for a second, only for a second, you can kind of collapse into the shoulders, collapse into the lower back. There's way too much load in my shoulders and my lower back right now. So what I wanna do is push the earth away, lift the hips as high as the shoulders, igniting the abdomen, the anterior core, the abdominal wall, Legs straight, arms straight, super strong plank position, and we breathe. Hold it for three. Yes, you got this team. Two. Let's push back down dog. So from there, lift your hips up and back, press your heels down, and find that down dog pose as a resting pose from your intense plank pose. Take another breath. And let it go, exhale. <sighs> drop down to your knees. Hopefully that helps your plank pose. It takes practice. That's why it's called the yoga practice. Have a great day team. See you next time. Namaste.